Today we'll learn how to morph text between any different words that you have to create something like this. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. So let's begin the tutorial. In our default scene, we're going to go ahead and bring our cursor to the junction of these two windows, click and drag to open a new window, and we'll change it from the 3D viewport to the geometry node editor. Now we can press this new button to add in a new geometry node tree, and you can zoom in and select the group input and tap X to delete it. Now we need to change between curves or words. In this tutorial, I'll use words. So we'll press Shift A and search for a string node because a string is essentially a bunch of characters that you can type in right over here. So I'm going to use the word hello, and I'm going to switch between hello and world. So the thing is you can't directly plug string into the group output because a string is not really geometry. To make it into usable geometry, you need a curve or a mesh. So we can search for a string to curves node and just plug that in right here. And immediately it becomes a curve that can actually be plugged into the geometry. To help with the effects, you can make a few defaults in this strings to curve node, such as changing the pivot point from left to center and from top baseline to middle, just so that when it morphs, it'll morph from the center. And I like that better. Along with that, you can change the font by clicking this particular folder button and that'll open the Windows fonts folder and you can search for whichever font you want. So I'm going to use copper plate got bold and I'm just going to click open font. Now for this effect to work, you need the same number of points on each of the curves that you're morphing between. So to fix the number of points, you can press shift A and search for a resample curve node and just plug that in and you can increase the number of counts to whatever you want. Now you could change the value over here or you can press shift A and search for a value node, set it to whatever you want. Like we'll start off with 1000 or 200 and plug this value right into the count. If you feel like there is areas that are not sharp enough for you, you can go ahead and increase the count till you see all of the details come in perfectly. So I'm going with 500, I guess. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and collapse these just to save space. So let's collapse the strings to curve and the resample curve node and just bring them in right here, bring the value out down here and select these and press shift D to create a duplicate. And now you can change this to whatever you want. So we'll change this to world. Now we want to actually mix between the word hello and the word string. So to do that, we can search for a set position node and plug that in here and set the position of every single one of these points from this curve to the positions of this particular curve. In order to do that, the first thing is that we need these curves to actually be real curves. The string to curves node gives out a curve instance, which means it can't really be changed. You need it to be real geometry to make these changes. So we'll press shift A and search for a realize instance node and plug that in right after the resample curve and you can collapse that as well. And we'll require this for the other one as well. So we'll press shift D and plug that in right here and just connect them up. Now, how do we get the position for this particular curve? To get the position, we'll press shift A and search for a sample index node so that we can sample some particular value for every index. So we can plug the geometry in right here, shift this a bit more to the side. Now, what do we want to sample? We want to sample the location of every single point so that we can map it to a new location. The location of a point in 3D space is going to be a vector value. So we change it from float to vector. And for the value, we need the position of each point. So we press shift A and search for a position node and plug this into the value. Now, which index do we want it at? We want it for every single one of the indices. So we press shift A and search for an index value node and we plug the index into the index. Now this value should be giving the position for every single point as a vector for this particular curve. So if we plug that into the position, we somewhat get the word world. Now the reason why the world doesn't look so good is because this does not have enough number of points to create the world in the font that we have. So to give it the same number of points, we just have to take this value from this node and plug that into the resample curve node down here. And now we have world. Now we can see that the word D or the letter D is missing. And that's because the word hello was made up of a number of curves. If we actually look at hello again, we can bring out position and you can see it has one for H, one for E, one for L, one more for the second L, and it actually has two curves for the O. So that makes a total number of curves equal to one, two, three, four, five, and six curves. On the other hand, the word world, if you actually just plug world in directly to the group output, you can see it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight curves. So when we're starting off from strings and we're trying to set the position, it'll set the position only for six curves. So the last D is completely ignored because W O R L itself is made up of six curves. To fix that particular issue, what you can do is set a dummy version of this. Just take it, press 
shift D and bring it up and make sure that this has a string with a number of curves equal to the maximum number of curves in any one of the strings that you're going to be converting. So in this case, world is the max. So I can type this in as world itself. But if it was more complex, I'd have to search for the word that has the maximum number of curves and use that over here. Alternatively, I could just use something really large with many of these. So I could just go with o, 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 o multiple times just to make sure that whatever word I have is always going to be lesser than the number of curves here. And this is what's actually going to go into the geometry of the set position. And that's going to go into the group output. Of course, again, we need to make sure that we use the same value over here. Take this value and plug that into the vSample curve node. Now, when we actually sample the indices for the string as well, we can take these three nodes, that's shift D, and plug the realize instance from the string into the sample index and use this as the position of the set position to get the word hello. If we use the sample index from the string world, we will get the word world to appear. Now, how do we transition between this and this? We can press shift A and search for a mix node and just plug that in. Now, remember, we are using vectors over here. So we have to change this from float to vector. And now you can plug this value into slot A and this value into slot B and this result into the position. So now whenever it's a factor of zero, it's going to be hello. And whenever it's a factor of one, it's going to be world. So you can actually see the transition happen between hello and world. So essentially, that's what we're going to be keyframing, the factor value. If you want to have more than one word, again, just take this section of nodes, which is the string, converting it to a curve, resampling it and realizing them and then sampling the position of them. So take all of those nodes, press shift D, lug them down here. And again, you don't actually have to have position and index for each of these plugged in separately. You could take these, grab them and move them out here and just use the same value for every single one of these. So you can plug them up and just get rid of these nodes to just reduce the number of nodes that are being used to create this effect. And to mix with this, you need to duplicate the mix node, press shift D, plug it in right here and take this value into value B. So now you need to also take the value and plug that into the resample curve node for the second world. We'll change the name this time from world to blender. So once we type blender in, you see how blender appears over here. Now, if we change this factor down, it becomes world. If you change this one down, it becomes hello. So remember, it's whatever's the last node in this particular chain of nodes is what matters. So if this factor is one, it's always going to be blender. It doesn't matter what this factor is because the one that's last in the chain matters. If this one is zero, then the one before it matters. So if this one's zero, it's going to be hello. If this one's one, it's going to be world. So you can add in as many of these as you want. Just duplicate these nodes, press shift D, bring it down reconnect the value to the vSample curve node, the position into the value of the sample index node and the index into the index of the sample position, and then plug this into a new mix node. So just shift D, plug it in here and take this value and plug that out here. So we can change this name to whatever we want. Let's say blender lovers, and now it becomes lovers. So now you can just keyframe these factors to get hello world blender lovers. However, if you actually go to the rendered view, you see that nothing can be seen if overlays are switched off. And that's because this is just a curve and not real geometry. So to convert it to real geometry, you can press shift A and search for a curve to mesh node, plug that in right here. And for the profile curve, you can just search for a curve circle and reduce the radius down to something like 0.1 and put this into the profile curve. The radius has to be even lower. So we'll go with 0.1. And now you have hello. You can always set material from here and play around with all of that as you please. But essentially, that is how you get the animation. And you can just play around with these factors to get whatever you want. And that way, you can create lyric videos just like this one, or just have fun with changing these however you please. This does not have to be text. It could be any curve. And in the next video or a future video really soon, I'll teach you how to do the exact same thing using any logo or SVG that you might have. And until that video comes out, Keep creating, comment your questions down below because sometimes they help figure out issues that require fixing because the previous video where I taught how to do something like this didn't work for strings and in general is outdated for Blender version 3.4 onwards. This version is the latest version and hopefully will work for many versions to come. Until the next video comes out, keep creating and stay creative.